warning dear children today we will be learning english read aloud topic for reading today is sakshi's box now your children what you can see in this picture is a girl and her name is sakshi and this is a box which she found so let us see what is there for us in this lesson sakshi found a big box she opened it there was a fairy and some paints in the box so children you can see there's a fairy here round in the circle you can see when she opened this gift box she found a fairy who came out of the box and a box of paints Hello Sakshi shall we do some painting asked the fairy She gave Sakshi a paint brush So this fairy asked Sakshi whether she would do some painting along with her and she gave Sakshi a paint brush to start painting First they painted with violet and indigo colors then they painted with blue and green colors so children you can see over here what you can see this is what sakshi painted and this is what the fairy painted they began first with violet then they went to indigo blue and green both have done the same thing and then they painted with yellow orange and red colors so you can see then they completed they painted yellow orange and red sakshi said Look at our rainbows. So Sakshi, she told the fairy, "Look at our rainbows. We both have painted beautiful rainbows." So this is what you can see here: the two rainbows, one done by Sakshi and the other done by the fairy. This is the one Sakshi has done, and this is the one which the fairy has done. Will your parents like our rainbows? Asks the fairy. So the fairy asks Sakshi, "Will your parents like the rainbows that both of us have painted?" So what did Sakshi say? Let's see. Yes, said Sakshi. My parents will like our rainbow pictures, and will say. You have made a beautiful painting. So Sakshi told the fairy, "My parents will love the painting, and they will say that you have done a beautiful painting." Like many of your parents must be telling you, not children, when you do some good work, good coloring, good painting, good drawing, good writing. So your parents tell you, you have done a good, beautiful job. So this is the way Sakshi said. Her parents too would say. Now here you can see Sakshi's painting, and this is the rainbow done by the fairy. The fairy smiled and hugged Sakshi. Now what you can see here, this is called hugged or embracing. When you hold close to you. Sakshi. 
Sakshi said goodbye to the fairy. So here you can see Sakshi. She saying bye to the fairy. Let us now read the lesson together again. Sakshi's box. Sakshi found a big box. She opened it. There was a fairy and some paints in the box. Hello, Sakshi. Shall we do some painting? Asked the fairy. She gave Sakshi a paint brush. First, they painted with violet and indigo colors. Then, they painted with blue and green colors. And then, they painted with yellow, orange and red colors. Sakshi said, Look at our rainbows. Will your parents like our rainbows? Asked the fairy. Yes, said Sakshi. My parents will like our rainbow pictures and will say, You have made a beautiful painting. The fairy smiled. And hugged Sakshi. Sakshi said goodbye to the fairy. My children, you must read this lesson at home. Now moving on to the exercises, let us complete the following activities. Now this activity, children, you will find in your Bal Bharati book, page 36. This this rainbow there, outline of a rainbow, you will color it according to the rainbow colors. Moving on to the next exercise, write the names of the colors of the rainbow. Now, the short form is here, the abbreviation V I P G Y O R. V stands for violet, I stands for indigo, blue stand, B stands for blue. G stands for green, Y for yellow, O for orange, and R for red. So what you can see here are the rainbow colors. That's if you go from below, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So you are going to write the colors as they are written here. Violet, indigo, blue, green, Yellow, orange and red are the colors of the red. The next exercise, arrange the following words in alphabetical order. You remember alphabetical order means you start with the alphabet beginning from A, B, C, D. According to the alphabets, you will put these words in order. Now what you have here are the seven colors of the rainbow. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. But they are not in the alphabetical order. They are in the order they appear as the rainbow. So let's arrange them in order. So we get blue first because A, there's nothing with A. Next alphabet comes is blue. Then we get C, D, E, F, nothing is there. Then we get G, that's green. H, I, that's indigo, J, K, L, M, N, none of these are there. So, O, orange, P, Q, R, red, S, T, U, not there. So, V, violet, W, X, and you get Y for yellow. So, what you have here are the words in alphabetical order. Let's read them together. Blue, green, indigo. Orange, red, violet, yellow. Now the second one, children, you will do on your own. We have the first word, rainbow, pictures, fairy and box. You need to look at the first letter of every word 
and arrange them in alphabetical order. The next exercise, read and say. Now children, I want you to repeat this after me. Sakshi. Brush. Found. Fairy. Opened. Hugged. Painting. Rainbow. Smiled. Beautiful. Answer the following questions. Question 1. Have you seen a rainbow? So children, if you have seen a rainbow, you will write the answer as yes. So you will write, yes, I have seen a rainbow. I will be a capital letter because I is always capital. Remember to begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop. If you haven't seen a rainbow, then you will write, no, I have not seen a rainbow. The next question, do you like to paint? You like to paint, you will write, yes, I like to paint. If you don't like painting, you will write, no, I don't like to paint. What is your favorite color? So you will write the name of your favorite color. My favorite color is red, blue, green, whichever is your favorite color, you will write that there. Remember to begin with a capital letter and end with the full stop. Let's move on to the next exercise. Bring sentences using the given words. Now there are three words. You have to use them in framing sentences. The first one was done in the book. That is big. The sentence reads as, I saw a big blue balloon. The next one is like, I like to listen to stories. Now, fairy. This word fairy, children, you will do on your own. You will frame a sentence by yourself. Next question, words and their meanings. You will be writing all these exercises in your English notebook later. Now you pay attention. Fairy. Now what is the meaning of fairy? A small imaginary being with magical powers. So it means that imaginary, it's not real. So you just imagine one small person with wings and a wand in a hand and she has got magic. So she can do many magical things. Brush, a thing used to paint. Hugged, held closely or embraced. Now the instructions, I want you to listen to them carefully. First thing is you will read the lesson and you will get this lesson on your Balbharati book, page 35. The second instruction is activity C, E, F and G should be done in the English notebook. So you're going to write these exercises in your English notebook. Begin the work writing the date. So you will write the date in the margin and the name of the lesson that is Sakshi's box. The third instruction for you is activity A and B should be done in the Pal Bharati book. That is on page 36. Activity D should be read aloud. That is the words. Please complete all these exercises, children. Thank you.